Hi, Pastor Charlie from New Hope Lutheran Church with another edition of Pastor Charlie's Toolbox. So today I've been working on a planter. And a planter basically is a box you build and you put dirt in it and then you can put plants in it and grow them wherever you want. So, the box is together and all I need to do now is just take Um, we seem to have an engineering problem here. You see, the problem is that I didn't use any fasteners for this box. And it's not like there aren't fasteners around. There are all kinds of fasteners you can use to put wood together. I mean, you can... Uh, you can use a hammer and nails. Pound them together, that holds it. You could use, uh, you could use screws. With a little device like this, it's not a big deal. Could have used that, or if I really wanted to go all out, I could put some holes through some of these pieces and use bolts and nuts. So you just put them through like that, like that, put a washer and a nut on it, and then when you tighten it down, it's not coming apart. Of course, if you were really desperate, I mean really desperate, you, you could try gluing it together, that might work, or I suppose some could recommend tape, but those two options, they aren't the best. We need some really good fasteners, some, some sturdy fasteners, something that's going to hold for a long time. And I got thinking, there are fasteners that, um, that hold people together as well in healthy relationships. Healthy relationships with each other and with God. I mean, think about it this way. Too often, words that hurt are used in relationships, which is kind of like building something without fasteners. It falls apart. And in our lesson for today, from Matthew chapters 9 and 10, Jesus, Jesus notices that many people are looking for those healthy relationships. To Jesus, they appear to be lost, or maybe even you could say unfastened. And they long to become fastened and grow in a relationship to God and to others. And so Jesus sends his disciples, the closest ones, to go out and help those people. And you know what? That's something we are called to do as well. To fasten people together with God. And with each other. Of course, we don't use nails or screws or bolts or even glue. But instead, what we are to use are the fasteners of love and hope, compassion, and all that with a willingness to reach out to others no matter who they are. It doesn't matter. And I know that can sound like a, a difficult thing to do, but the thing is when we are fastened to God, it's much easier to reach out to others with that same love that we experience. And in doing so, we fasten ourselves to each other with selfless love. Now these days, there are many examples of people who are, are torn apart. And once again, as in our Gospel lesson, there's a need to reach out with understanding and compassion in the same way that God reaches out to us. Take care of yourselves.